in this module which is the last module of uh, fed batch culture kinetics in this module we will discuss about uh, the change in product concentration during the fed batch as we are already discussed that part reported the fed batch culture kinetics in 1975 in detail so, as per described the product balance in fixed volume fed batch system. So, we can say that uh, the d p over d t is equal to q x. So, the change in product concentration with respect to change in time that is q p dot x. So, this equation is basically that kind of the product which is directly associated with the biomass as the biomass will increase then that have the effect on the change in product concentration. So, by substituting here the x you can see here that uh, if we put this d p over d t is equal to q p over x in our previous equation in which we have uh, x t over that. So, we have this equation because in previous module we discussed about our equation in which x t is equal to x a plus uh, g y into that. So, if we put uh, the mu is equal to d p or j s then we can have this equation. So, if the product quotient is strictly growth related then product concentration will rise linearly as for the biomass. But however, if the q p is constant then the rate of increase in product concentration will rise as growth rate decline. So, at the time progress and x increase. So, easily we can understand here that how the product quotient or rate of product formation effect by the x. So, if the q p is related to the mu mean specific growth rate in a complex manner then the product concentration will vary according to the relationship. So, in this picture you can see that there are two different uh, relationships a and b a deal with the variable volume and b deal with the fixed volume and these are both diagrams as modified by reported by the part 1979. So, in this equation you uh, in this relationship you can see that. Uh, so, in variable volume so the p what is the line of that. So, dotted line show that product that is associated with the biomass because in uh, variable volume x remain constant mean the biomass concentration remain constant as well as uh, the product concentration remain the constant, but in case of the fixed volume sometimes due to the fluctuation then the product concentration can vary, but then it gradually have the effect on increase, but almost it remain uh, constant when there is a relationship of that, but as concern in a fixed volume that there is a continuous increase in biomass as well as we can say that there is a linear relationship in the product concentration. By the same way we can say that either that is growth related or not growth related. So, in both cases uh, in fixed volume we have a very increase or a linear relationship between the product uh, formation or a rate of product formation during the fermentation process. So, these two diagrams easily show us that what kind of the relationship uh, in fixed volume and the variable volume with respect to those secretion become very toxic that have a very negative effect on the a, um, mu which we called as specific growth rate. So, in fixed volume when there is a constant increase in the toxic secretions by the organism itself that can 
have a very negative effect or a very difficult or uh, can create a difficult situation in order to maintain mu is equal to d mean specific growth rate is equal to the dilution rate. So, here we can see that there is no dilution rate uh, when we talk about the fixed volume, but we can see here that d instead of uh, uh, d we can use at the g. So, the feeding strategy with respect to mu is very critical that also depend upon the secretion during the fed batch. So, keep in view the fed batch then we will in the next module will we see that uh, there is a continuous culture in which there will be a continuous harvesting of some fermentation along with the feeding to remain the volume constant.